A supercomputer has determined when humanity will go extinct, and a date has already been pinpointed. I'll walk you through how this was done, but that date is going to come a lot earlier than that. The first thing you have to know is that 99.99% of all species that have ever existed on Earth have already gone extinct. The extinction rate has increased to about 10,000 times the normal natural extinction rate in the last 100 years. A lot of that is just because humans are incredibly destructive creatures. We are destructive even to ourselves. They ran a rather sophisticated computer simulation to determine the point at which the Earth could no longer support humanity. That involves climate. They claim 250 million years. That will be the point at which the continents will come together and turn into the next Pangaea. At that point, the world will be inhospitable to mammals as we know them. We'll see consistent temperatures that are going to be around 120 plus degrees year-round. Now that does kind of just seem like an average day in Australia. The hottest place on Earth is very frequently just the California desert. Now I have been there when it was 122 degrees. Not fun. But it's very unlikely humans would live for 250 million years, and here's why. If we're going to be more honest about it, the average species lifespan is about a million years on Earth. It can be longer, like 10 million if you're an insect, but it varies. That means that humans are already running out of time. We have a little bit of a boost to maintain our humanity, because there have been so many severe bottlenecks, we're all relatively closely related. However, there are different ways that a species can go out. They can evolve into something new. Or perhaps a more likely answer to how we will go out is that we will burn ourselves out. We can't seem to get our shit together, as humans, to be honest. So we may fight each other, we may see an end from something a little bit more mundane. If our populations become fragmented and our technology does not allow for the kind of travel that we have today, we may end up being quite literally blown back to the Stone Age. That would give us the same separation of populations that allowed things like Denisovians and Neanderthals to exist as separate from humans. It's believed that Neanderthals separated from humans between 750,000 years ago and 500,000 years ago. However, because of global cataclysms, we met each other again and interbred. That ultimately resulted in Neanderthals going extinct. But they still do live inside of us. I could see the same thing that happened between populations of humans that happened a million years ago. I've always thought that it would be an illness that quietly snuffed out humanity. But we may have done something unprecedented to our planet already. We're losing around 2.5% of total insect biomass on Earth every year. If the insects go, we go. This will be interesting to see balanced with bird flu. Yes, there is something that is almost 100% fatal to birds making its way through the entire bird population worldwide. Normally, if there's a mass extinction of avians, we see insects proliferate. We get locusts, which kills our crops. That probably killed between 30 million and 50 million Chinese in the 1960s. Don't go to war with the birds, okay? But now we're seeing a bird flu proliferate. Not that you can really even get updates from the CDC anymore, but there's the second round of bird flu in cattle. It is so close to human-to-human -human transmission, with a 50 to 60% fatality rate in a person even with adequate care. When that becomes person to person, and it starts hitting the entire population, this will not be good. Not that our government would let us know if it was being transferred person to person. There's already a pretty damn bad flu outbreak already. Flus like to mingle and exchange genes. This could be very bad. Probably won't take us out entirely because it just doesn't happen that way. But it could be the thing, or something like this, any number of disasters that ends up fragmenting human populations. The answer to that question is that this was an inflammatory article title. No, the date that we will go extinct will be much sooner. Whether by pestilence or famine, the one thing that is certain is that we will go extinct. That's non-negotiable. I've heard it said that if we run into aliens, we won't run into them, we'll run into their technology. And that might be the truth for us too. That doesn't make life meaningless, but it means we have to decide what kind of fingerprint we want to leave on our universe. It is depressing, but it's reality.